guys, my name is Stephanie and I am one half of Steph and Adam, a channel dedicated to sharing with you tons of plant-based comfort food recipes. And today, things are about to get pretty real. So if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we like to share a lot of our personal lives with you, our triumphs, our struggles, and you probably already know that Adam and I have both had our separate weight loss journeys. And so before we get into the food, I'm just gonna give you a quick background on what's been going on with me and why I'm making this video today. So first of all, the reason why I'm making this video is instead of hiding behind the fact that yes, I've gained, um, let's see, 20 pounds since I had Sophie. I have a nine month old daughter, Sophie. Um, instead of hiding behind that, I'm gonna show you um, how I'm realistically going to flip the switch, go backwards, cause I know how to change it. It's just a matter of doing it. And so instead of doing it behind closed doors, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it because this is real life. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I've gained 20 pounds. It's, which is clearly why I'm making this video cause if I was ashamed, I wouldn't be making this video. Let me now tell you how this happened. So back like three or four years ago, I was in the best shape of my entire life. I felt amazing. Then I developed chronic eczema, which stopped me completely, cut me off from going to the gym because the second I would sweat, I would develop a new eczema patch. So it makes me really sad because I really miss the gym and I'm actually thinking I'm at the point now where I might be able to go back to the gym because my eczema is getting a lot better. So yay. So because of that, I started to put on a little bit of weight and I wasn't like overweight, but I was definitely not as fit as I was when I was going to the gym hardcore five days a week. And so I was eating super healthy, trying to heal myself of the eczema totally naturally. And by the time I got pregnant with Sophie, I was actually pretty thin, like I was juicing every day and I felt amazing. And then I got pregnant with Sophie, then I had Sophie, and I actually lost the baby weight within like days of Sophie. I was actually thinner than I was before I got pregnant with Sophie at that point. So uh, this isn't like a, I'm trying to lose my baby weight thing. Um, because I know that a lot of people would say, oh, you just had a baby, don't be so hard on yourself. But let's be real guys, like it's nine months after, I don't feel well. See, here's the thing. I think if you just had a baby and it's like two days after postpartum and somebody's in the groups, I see this all the time, people in groups being like, guys, how do I lose the baby weight? I'm only nine months pregnant. How do I lose the baby weight after the baby comes? Like girls are so concerned about losing the baby weight, losing the baby weight. And I didn't have that mindset at all. Like I was not thinking that at all. And I just like dropped the baby, the baby weight right away um, because I was eating super healthy and everything was fine. So that's not what this video is about. It's actually by month four of having Sophie, um, at that whole, the whole first four months, I was like, I had dropped weight, I felt fine. Adam, I had a really easy postpartum journey. Adam um, was helping me eat healthy still, I was still juicing every day, and then by month four, we were both exhausted. And it just like, <laughs> like the healthy eating went out the window. And so I stopped juicing, um, and we, we really just like essentially stopped meal prepping. And so we were like doing our own things, and we were just, we had a baby now, and I, we were just burned out of, of everything. So that is when I actually started to put on weight because I was relying on pasta, I was eating a lot of white foods, like just pasta and chips and I just didn't like have the time or the energy to meal prep for myself which is really freaking stupid I know because I'm an advocate for meal prepping but hey it's real life and here's what happened to me like I just couldn't do it so um, you meal prep for so long and then life hits you and you got to stop for a hot second but now we're getting back on the wagon we're gonna meal prep so that's what happened and how I got to here and now I'm 20 pounds heavier than I was before I got pregnant, which means I'm probably more like 25 pounds heavier in the last couple of months because I had lost more weight after Sophie was even born. So just a quick thing, if you guys are pregnant and you are like postpartum, please don't worry about your weight. If you're like five days postpartum, I see this all the time in groups and it makes me really sad. Don't be thinking about that. Pay attention to your baby. Make sure you're well nourished, eating lots of good food. Have somebody help you cook yourself good food. 
and just worry about that stuff. Like, guys, seriously, do not be worrying about baby weight. Don't be in the comments being like, oh, don't be hard on yourself. I'm not being hard on myself. I'm being realistic that now it's time months later and I will feel better if I just start meal prepping. There's tons of food in the fridge and because nothing is put together and made, it's like, oh God, this is too difficult for me. So you see this bag of lettuce here? Adam kills me every week because I constantly buy this lettuce and then it doesn't get eaten and it goes moldy in the fridge and he gets mad at me. So I'm gonna go back to saving money, meal prepping, eating better, and if you're with me, you can keep watching my journey because I'm gonna show you how to do it in real time. It's not hard, it's a numbers game, and, and it's really just about cooking up the food in advance so that you don't have an option of making yourself pasta or just eating the chips. So let's show you what food I have today. Apologies for the slightly long intro. I know we don't usually make long intros, but I feel like all that was kind of important. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make today. A salad with chickpeas, Kalamata olives, my fave, pumpkin seeds, and some red onion. Then I'm gonna have a stir fry, which is gonna be rice, bell peppers, carrots, zucchini, and mushrooms. Then I'm gonna have some potatoes with Brussels sprouts and asparagus that I'm just gonna cook off in the oven really fast. And for breakfast, I'm just gonna eat lots of fruit. So I'm gonna have some, um, I'm gonna make an, a fruit salad of bananas, apples, and blueberries. All of this food, believe it or not, costs about $40. If I bought these bell peppers, in a bag of six at Costco for like $7.50, then I'm just rounding up two of these, only cost me about $3. You're not gonna like go buy all this stuff and it's only gonna be $40, it's gonna cost you more than that, but I'm not using all this rice today, I'm gonna use it for the next week and the next week and the next week. So that's how we come up with the prices. So this is about $40. So I'm gonna show you how to cook all this up super fast, it's super easy, and actually the stir fry is a recipe in our brand new book. If you haven't heard or seen our brand new book called Plant Based Meal Prep, the stir fry is actually in our book. Actually, look at that, it's right here. It's right there in the introduction in the picture. That's our stir fry right there. There are so many delicious plant-based comfort food recipes in here. You guys should totally grab this book. It's great for the holidays. Share it with a friend. It's not just for people who are plant-based or vegan. It is for everybody because everybody needs to eat more plants. Perfect example, like I said before, I've been eating a lot of yellow foods. This is a lot of green. Like I have not eaten this much green in a really long time. So anyway, that's my plug for the book. Go ahead and check it out in the link below. Okay, let's get started. Oh no, no, that, that felt funny. Let's try that again. So, let's get started. So the first step is I'm gonna take about a cup and a half of brown rice, put it in this pot which already has three cups of water in it. Then I'm gonna bring this to a boil and once it's boiling, I'm gonna cover it, turn the heat on low and just let it simmer until all the water has been absorbed. Should be about 20 minutes because this is the 20 minute rice from Costco. So just to clarify, we are very big advocates of macros and learning your macros and figuring out how many calories a day you need to be eating. But instead of me calculating that for myself this week, what I'm gonna do is just flip and make the switch to just eating healthier foods. And then I'll see how I am a week from now and I'll let you guys know and give you an update. It's really just more about feeling better and eating healthier. Like I'm not worried about the number on the scale. I just wanna feel better. My weight will drop as I'm eating healthier and healthier foods. So I'm not really worried about the number on the scale because as Adam says, it's just your mass on this planet. <laughs> but if I'm finding in the next few weeks that even just eating healthier is not helping me, then I will figure out exactly how many macros I should be eating right now and then actually plan out and calculate, okay, I need 1,700 calories, so I'm going to be eating this, this, and this. And in our book, we have a macro breakdown of every single recipe in there. So if you are into macros, the book has that covered for you. Now I'm gonna get started on the things that go in the oven, which is gonna be the potatoes, asparagus, and the Brussels sprouts. So I'm just gonna take these Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna cut off the ends. I have a little scrap bowl here so we don't make a giant mess. Scrap bowls are awesome so that you can keep all of your mess contained and then it doesn't look as crazy. Pan here ready to go. I'm just gonna cut them up and put them directly on two trays. And then I'm gonna take the asparagus, I'm gonna cut off the ends, Cut them up like maybe four into four pieces. Also spread them out on the tray. And then I'm gonna take the potatoes and cut them into small pieces and spread them out on the trays. And after I do that, I'll be back. So to both, I'm gonna add salt and pepper. 
And to one, I'm going to add a bunch of Italian seasonings like oregano, basil, and garlic powder. I usually have Italian seasonings, but apparently I don't right now. And then I'm going to leave the other one just the salt, pepper, and oil so that way there's a little bit of a flavor variation and I can add whatever I want on top of that during the week to switch up the flavors a little bit. That's funny. This hasn't been used in so long that the garlic powder is totally stuck together. <laughs> Told you guys, we have not been meal prepping. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, Madonna. Okay, so we're gonna skimp out on the garlic powder. Let's add some oregano. <laughs> now for the olive oil, I am going to measure that out a little bit just because olive oil is really easy to go overboard on olive oil. And one tablespoon is 14 grams of fat. So not that fat is bad per se, but you don't want too much of it because that's obviously not going to help you out. So, um, let's do one, two, uh, now I could have thrown all of this into a mixing bowl, but why would you dirty a mixing bowl when you don't really need to? Meal prepping is all about being efficient, time efficient, which by the way, I started at about 125, it's now 141. And it's also about containing your space so that way it doesn't look like an explosion happened because one, that'll make you not want to meal prep ever again. And two, you just want like a fast cleanup. You don't want this to be a five hour project. So by the way, the rice um, was boiling and so I put the lid on and put it on a simmer. I'm gonna take this and mix everything around. And since this is piled high, I am definitely gonna have to take this out in the middle, maybe like 20 minutes from now, and mix these around so that everything gets cooked evenly. So my oven's already on, it's on 400 degrees. I'm gonna put this in, set a timer for 20 minutes so that way I can mix it around right after that. Okay, next we're gonna get our stir fry going. So we like to cook, saving the most amount of time possible. So instead of cutting all of these veggies up, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut one veggie up at a time and chuck it in. Cut it up, chuck it in. That'll save you a lot of time and a lot of space too because you know, when you cut all these veggies up and like leave them everywhere, it's a lot of space. Okay, so you're gonna cut up the thing. Obviously, a carrot is gonna take longer to cook than a zucchini. So we're gonna cut up the carrots first. So if you need to learn how to cut quickly and you need some work on your knife skills, you may or may not have seen that Adam put out a video all about knife skills and knife tricks. And learning your knife skills will definitely save you a lot of time in the kitchen. So if you missed that video, make sure you go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. So my carrots are cut, I'm just gonna put them into the wok. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in here. And then I am going to put this on a low heat. Then I'm going to take my peppers. Now if you want to get super fancy, you can cut both peppers at once. Now we're just going to add these in. Next, the zucchinis. Add in the zucchini. Stir around. Add some salt. Stir. Put on a lid and turn down to medium. To finish the stir fry, we're just gonna cut up these mushrooms. Mushrooms get really tiny once you cook them, so you can like just kind of quarter them. You don't have to make them really small. So if you're new, don't worry. You can totally master the art of meal prepping, and it's a skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. The mushrooms are done, now I'm gonna stir this up and then add in the mushrooms. Stir together. Now I'm gonna turn up the heat to medium and cover with a lid for about five minutes. Next, we're gonna make our salads, which is really fast and really simple. I forgot, I was gonna throw some garlic into there, so let me cut this up really fast. Let me just rinse this off. Now I'm just gonna dice up the garlic and throw it in. Okay, I'm gonna add in the garlic. Stir it together. As soon as we're done, I'm gonna take those out of the oven. How good do these look, right? Smell amazing. Oh. All right, so once I mix them up again, we're just gonna put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Back to the stir fry. I'm just gonna toss this with some coconut aminos, which is how we made this for the book. Maybe like two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Now what's left is the fruit salad and the salad. So the rice is cooked, I just left it off the burner. It's just sitting on the stove waiting to be prepped up. So I'm gonna make six salads for myself. I'll try to make six portions of everything so that I just have like one day of just doing whatever I want for the week um, in case we go have dinner with my family or whatever it is. So, just gonna start with some, some lettuce. It's obviously easier to eat if you rip it up beforehand. So just to give you an idea, 
this whole box of lettuce was $4.99, but because I knew that I was only gonna be using about half of it, that, um, you know, the rest can be for Adam, but I only factored $2.50 into the cost of this when I was calculating the cost of everything. I'm gonna add on some chickpeas, got some pepitas, some pumpkin seeds, some calamata olives. They're delicious, by the way. And I'm just gonna quickly slice up some, some red onion, that's it for the salad. And this is it for the stir fry too. Just gonna turn off the heat and let that sit. Cool down so we can put it into containers. Um, the salad's ready. And let's see. It is 2.12 and I started at 1.25. So, so far it's only been like 47 minutes. So since I have time right now, I guess I will make the fruit salad. I just watched the blueberries. Just gonna cut up the bananas. If brown bananas gross you out, don't cut them up right now. <laughs> they really don't bother me, uh, so I'm just gonna chuck them into the salad. I might go through this salad faster than six or seven days anyway, because Sophie and I eat a lot of fruit, so I might have to make more fruit salad on day four anyway. I mean, we didn't really make much of a mess today, did we? This was super easy, fast prep, and I hope that it's inspiring you to realize that this is doable and you can do it too. It's just a matter of just getting up and doing it. It's really all it is. And if you need some recipe inspo, you know where to find it. <laughs> so this was our scrap bowl. This is it and these bananas, of course. Um, so you see how much, how much cleaner everything is? Like when you just, these are about to get cut up. There's like really not much mess here. Um, you know, I just put away all the spices and stuff and we didn't really make much of a mess. So I think a lot of people feel like meal prepping is so messy, but it's really not. As long as you use some of our tips and tricks, then it's really not that bad. Especially if you're not making meat. Like that's, that's obviously a big help there too because things are a lot less messy without meat. If you're enjoying this video, please let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. It really makes a huge difference if you take a couple of seconds and leave a comment because that signals to YouTube that the video was good and that YouTube should show it to more people. Since only 5% of our audience is getting notified that we make new videos, it would be very appreciated if you even shared it with your friends, made sure that you are subscribed and that your little bell is turned on so that way Hopefully, if YouTube acts appropriately, it will notify you that we, up have, that we have uploaded a new video. And as always, we really appreciate all of your support and uh, we wouldn't be here without you guys. So, thank you. We've gotten into this new routine now where every morning Sophie, Jack, our blind miniature poodle, and I share a banana every morning and I'll give a piece to her, a piece to Jack, and a piece to me. And the other day I realized that that was really cute because when I was pregnant, Jack used to sit on my belly and I would share a banana with Jack. So now we're all sharing bananas together. It's really cute. I'm just gonna put away some of this food that I didn't use and it'll be all ready. It's so easy, guys, so easy. Here, actually, let's see, it is 224, look at that, boom. It was an hour, it took me an hour to do. It's gonna take me another, I don't know, 10 minutes to clean up. It's so easy, guys. I hope this is inspiring you to realize that we can all take back control of our health, no matter what life is throwing at us. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. <laughs> clean up really quickly, the timer's going off. Beautiful, look at that. That's it. Now I'm gonna wait till this stuff cools off for a bit and then I'll plate it up and show you. So I'm um, just gonna plate up the potatoes and Brussels sprouts and asparagus. So these are all done. Now, stir fry. If you wanna make it look cool for a picture, you gotta spread the rice out to the edges. And now add the veggies. If you haven't heard of a hot logic yet, you guys are missing out. It's a game changer for meal prepping. And basically what it is, is it's a small, personal, portable um, mini oven. You just put your little meal prep container in there, you zip it up and you plug it in and it'll be hot and ready to eat within like an hour or two, depending on what you're cooking. And it is just really helpful for meal prepping. They even have one for a car. So you can actually hook it up to your car. So if you're a person that's on the road a lot, working out of there, um, working and, and driving a lot, then it's great for you. 
so you can get a hot logic using the coupon code fit couple cooks for 20% off so it's like $32 for this awesome little magic box that Adam and I love we actually used it on the road on our road trip last year um, you can even cook food from scratch like if you're, if you're if you're eating meat you can actually put like raw chicken breast and a bunch of frozen veggies and a little bit of olive oil and you can plug it in and it'll cook within like four hours you'll have a hot fresh meal of cooked food so anyway <laughs> so that's it guys I am going to take you on this journey with me and let me know what you think in the comment section below and I appreciate your support always uh, make sure you're following us on Instagram Steph and Adam official and that's it hope you guys have a great week we will catch you next time Bye guys!